I got talked into walking up here. Spasiba. Spasiba. <laughs> <laughs> goodness it is a really beautiful morning here but I know I say that a lot but it gets really hot here and now I realize here in Riga I have to change up my routine really fast so I got to try and do as much as I can outside right now while the Sun is out and it's cool because a little bit later it's gonna be way too hot and that's a better time for me to be chill and relax but hope you're doing well today uh, I'm on my way you guys remember you remember yesterday when I got here by the bus station and they had a whole bunch of stuff outside I'm gonna try and go out there cuz I thought I saw This is a good breakfast place where I went to yesterday when I first got here, but I prefer the local places cuz that's where you really that's when you really feel the adventure. When you're there, when you get to a restaurant and they speak English, that's easy. You get to one of these open markets and you go there, normally they don't speak English. Normally it's a lot of local people there. Um, that's when you really feel that's when you really feel alive. How much do I Two euros. Okay. Okay, change of plans. I'm at the train station right now. I literally met the person who was working on the bus that I came here yesterday and they were walking opposite direction. It's like, oh, they're going to the city and they're like, if I want to come and I'm trying to say yes more to things. So uh, I said yes and now I have no idea where we're going. I think it's like 30 minutes from here, apparently by the sea. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the train station. Um, but the train station here is not super advanced. There's no like screens telling you where to go. So I'm lucky I'm with this person who speaks uh, who speaks Latvian. in Donzebe. How do you say the name of the place? It's uh, Yurma. You, oh, okay, Yurma, okay, okay, Yurma. It's crazy, we're like literally in the middle, like in the middle of, of nowhere. no people in this entire place for me it's like this is like adventure for me it's cool traveling like traveling is awesome but i think it's always about the adventure the unexpected things the when you have to think you know as much as it's it's, it's cool seeing different sights and everything uh doing things like off the beaten path so to speak is like for me that's like you feel the adrenaline you feel really like like you're coming alive and being here 30 minutes outside of Riga, which is a place I already don't even know, and being in this place, which is quiet and peaceful with someone I don't even know, and we just met and they don't speak. You speak a little English, yes? Anastasia. You... <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, nothing. So apparently we're going up the tower. That's where we have to walk up. Stay there. <laughs> it feel like more. 
I feel 1,000 meters. Okay. I feel like that's enough. That's my adventure meter for the day. I have no idea what I buy. Something with spinach, like a little pizza kind of thing, and some kind of raisin, uh, some kind of raisin with frosting kind of stuff. It was the only thing I recognized. Not fruit, but I need something. I'm, we got a long walk ahead of us too, though. Street. There's not a lot of people here. I'm not sure what's even going to be open, but they're having a big festival here in three days. So they're kind of setting up everything for that. Going down this walking street, maybe find a coffee, something like this, and then whew, back to Riga. I know the lighting is horrible. Just Anastasia just left. Actually, let's turn change uh, change spots. Okay, okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, Anastasia just left. If you're watching this, Anastasia, spasiba, spasiba, spasiba. Um, totally unexpected today. I literally was uh, just to make this morning more clear. I literally was walking to this place and walked by them. I was like, wait, you were on the bus yesterday when I was coming here. They were actually like the stewardess on the bus. We didn't even talk there and they just kind of invited me. They said they're going to this place and I said, okay. And it was just kind of one of those random adventures. And for me, it's always about the people and it's about the adventures. Not always going to a place and seeing a certain, like I gotta go and see this, I gotta go and see this. Sometimes, yes, but other times it's about those adventures. And on that note, back to my beginning adventure was supposed to be heading to this fruit market, uh, even though it's a little bit later to try to get, uh, Well, first of all, this is the bus station from yesterday, right here. And so the marketplace that I had planned to come to is right here. And apparently all these are marketplaces as well. So even though it's the end of the market, uh, that's good information because definitely will come back here. But uh, yeah, I need something to... Just one tip for you guys when you do come to the markets here don't buy the first thing you see like walk around it's usually the 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 fruits and the places that are in the back of the marketplace that are usually the best uh not the cheapest but they're the cheapest one thing i can tell you is there are a lot of blueberries and strawberries here Goodness, I'm trying to find the best deal on uh, trying to find the best deal on blueberries right now. I just gotta, I gotta taste for blueberries. And uh, um, strawberry. No. Two. All right. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. <laughs> no. So see you, huh? Bye bye. Bye. Yes, you're welcome. Bye. Okay, blueberries, strawberries, got them. And I realize it's not because finding the cheapest one to pay the less amount, because it, it comes out to the same price. It's just if I have to pay two euros for blueberries like I did here, if I have to pay two years instead of three euros like I did there, that means I can leave one euro tip, which is like, it's a better feeling. And you get the same thing, but I, it's, it's for selfish reasons, I think. But um, now, time to see what else they have here. Like a whole world of everything you need here. So I guess to say if you come to you come to Riga, 
uh, go outside the bus station to the marketplace and then come in these buildings and anything you need, if you can't find it here, I don't think you need it. Officially the biggest market that I have ever seen, I think ever. Okay, so it is like three hours later, had a quick power nap, uh, got some work done, had talked to a lot of people, a lot of things done, but basically, long story short, off to one place where I went to yesterday. I didn't film it too much while I was there yesterday, but this is, I don't wanna say it's my favorite place in Riga because I've only tried two or three places, but I really love this place. Definitely trying something that I don't think you guys are to approve of, and I, I would recommend you guys do not try this at home. Do not try to mix these together. But Latvian, what they have in Latvia, one of the things that they're special for is pierogies. So I've ordered some of those, but I'm kind of in a weird mood. So I ordered something else too that doesn't necessarily go with pierogies. Thank you. Bye bye. If you guys are ever here, check out this place. Handmade kitchen, perfect. Or homemade kitchen. Handmade, homemade. Handmade kitchen. People are super nice. They let me stay extra so I can finish my food since I did arrive there late. But they close at seven, but my favorite place here so far. You know, I was just thinking, the only problem that I kind of have with with kind of here in Riga, and it's nothing bad, it's just personal preference, is when you're in the center, you kind of feel like you're walking down all of these streets, but they're kind of like not leading anywhere. There's not the big center commercial where everyone's at. There's not a huge square. It's almost like everything here in Riga, I, I've, I've tried to record this part four times. I think I've got it down. Everything kind of starts and maybe, not ends, but everything starts and ends around Old Town. So everything almost is in Old Town, which is actually where I'm heading right now, because in the center, it's just like, there's no one. I went to the mall to try to film and thought there'd be people there, but there was just like, no people. There was kind of nothing there. So now I'm heading to Old Town to try to find a nice, decent place to. Oh, Okay, so I'm kind of here, sorry for the lighting. I'm kind of here like right where Old Town kind of starts. And you know, I guess to sum everything kind of up, it just kind of basically comes down to this. Everyone is a different type of traveler. And you know, there's travelers who you come to a city and you have to see this, 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 you have checkpoints, you know, you can go, you want to see this thing, see this Eiffel Tower, you want to see the Louvre, you want to see the opera, you want to do all this kind of stuff. And that's what you look forward to. And I just find that when you do that, as soon as that happens and it's over, it's just like, you know, okay, I saw Eiffel Tower. <sighs> I come to Riga, I see Old Town. <sighs> you know, and I think that there's other kind of travelers, and of course there's many, and I guess I'm the one that's adventure. Like, I love adventure. I love going from point A to point B, but I'm more excited for who I'm gonna meet going from point A to point B, or what's gonna happen in between there that might make me go to point D or F before going to point B, if you understand what I'm saying. And I find that, you know, here in Riga, I've been just struggling to find, here in, here in Riga, I've just struggled to find a place where the people are gathered outside of Old Town. You know, so for me, it's, it's just like the first part of the day is exactly how I like adventure. The person who I met was the stewardess on the on the bus. I didn't talk to them the whole time and all of a sudden they invite me to come to the city I've never been to. And then the second part was coming here and I went back to the checklist. Like I wanted to see this. I wanted to go to this place to eat. I wanted to see one more thing. But then after it's done, you're kind of just like, you know, so I guess you always gotta ask yourself, what kind of traveler are you? And I think the best is someone who can mix all of those together. And if I had to give a review of Riga, it's just, it's the old town. The old town's where everything is. Although tomorrow, my goal is to find something outside of old town, because that's what everyone's saying, it's old town, old town. I gotta find something out. I'm sure there's adventure outside of old town, which I will try to discover tomorrow. But until then, gonna relax, 
head to Old Town right now and I'll talk to all of you guys later. Thank you guys so much for your questions and comments. I've been trying to respond back to you. Um, you guys who left comments at the end of yesterday's video, thank you guys so much, or two days ago. Uh, thank you guys so much. And on that note, yeah, heading to Old Town and I'll talk to all of you guys later. And everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.